during my upbringing, my parents were incredible musicians so much that they inspired me to be a major part of an actual CD recording. Let me share my story. My parents, my mom, um, sung with a group called the Loverettes. Man, they were a group that traveled around from church to church. And as they traveled, you know, they inspired a lot of people. They uplifted people. And I was also influenced by their singing. Uh, they had their robes on. They used to look just alike, man, when they went out to sing. And they sung in the spirit of excellence. And that inspired me to, to want to do it as well. Also, my father, my dad, he he played the guitar uh, and piano. Uh, and so just watching him uh, with his gift, how um, he used to play with such passion, man, and that just inspired me to to want to, to sing and record as well. Um, when I was coming up, my brother, my older brother and two of my cousins, we had a group called the Gospel Highlights that we used to travel all around the city. And one night, we were at a concert, and uh, young guys called the Strawler Brothers was there as well, and, and they could sing. And so at school the next day, they said their father wanted to know if I would like to sing with them. So he called my mom, and they talked, and I told her, yeah, I wanted to sing with them. I began to sing with the Strawler Brothers. And during that process, we were able to record uh, a 45, a 45 is a little record back in the day that had two songs on it. Um, one of those songs that was on the 45, uh, I wrote. Um, I was inspired to write as a young age, at a young age, and I didn't realize I had the ability to do so. But I wrote my first song, and we also um, did eight track tape, and, and we have our album. Uh, did all that for my first time at a, at a young age. and So I was inspired. Uh, my brothers were inspired watching me sing with the Strawberry Brothers. They used to come and want to take my, my suit bag out to the van when we were traveling. And so um, when I came back home from a concert one uh, evening and my brothers were in the room singing, and I didn't know that they could sing. So... Later on, I stopped singing with the Strawberry Brothers and began singing uh, with my younger brothers, and we formed a group called the Jackson Brothers. And when we sung, uh, when we got together and began to sing, we were also inspired to do our first CD project. Man, it was an awesome experience uh, going in the studio uh, with my brothers. The studio time. I was older, so I paid more attention to the process. And man, we practiced uh, several days a week. Um, we had to practice and before we went into the studio. And once we got into the studio, I thought that we could just go in and uh, make this CD, man, and just sing and just come back out. But then realized that uh, the process took a while. Uh, we had to lay different tracks. I didn't understand that the drum track the good guitar track, the uh, keyboard track, they all had to be laid separate from the voices. And, you know, so once we sung, each uh, one of us had to go in the booth and sing our part, and then we uh, put it all together. And so that process, man, it took several days, several weeks uh, to make that CD. Uh, also, the title track of that CD, uh, was influenced by the passing of our father, so we dedicated that CD to our father, and the title cut was called We Are Do It Again in Heaven. And I can say that song was written out of uh, experiences we had with our father uh, down through the years. And uh, my mom, uh, was still a, who's still alive, um, just, to, just to see her, her expression, man, uh, um, great sense of accomplishment of uh, watching her boys record this CD, man, um, just to see how proud she was from us uh, going through that process, man, and also how people that were, uh, that purchased the CD and that came to our concerts, how they were so blessed and inspired.
we got so many phone calls and emails uh, from that CD project, man, uh, and just people sharing their stories of what it meant to them and how different songs on the CD blessed them uh, from time to time. And, man, and so that whole experience of uh, recording that project, man, was just a blessing. Even though the financial part was a little hardship on the financial part of us raising up the money to, uh, we didn't realize how much it cost as well to to uh, record and um, put out a CD project. Uh, but we were we were blessed to come up with the money and uh, and make it happen. So uh, just so excited. Uh, Another example of following uh, your passion, man, when you have a, a gift to do something and, and realizing at a young age that you have that gift and that passion, man. That, um, and so we just put in the work, and, man, and we just thank God that the process and after we put in the work that uh, it paid off. And uh, so I just come to realize when, when you're brought up to follow whatever you set your mind to, you will find that doors will open for you to do things that you never thought you could do, uh, like record your own CD project.